Hey, I'm Rod Gammons from Rotolite, and today we're going to be answering the question, what are the advantages an EOS provides over a traditional speed light or strobe? The first obvious advantage is that the Rotolite EOS is both a continuous light, which allows me to shoot what I see, set the exposure on my model, set the focus on my model, and indeed eliminate blink and red eye responses. But it is also a high speed sync for when you need more power. For example, in daylight conditions or when you want to freeze frame action. Having both of those in one product eliminates the need for two separate purchases. Also, if I shoot video, clearly I can't do that with a strobe or a speed light, whereas EOS can be used for both stills and video applications. In terms of specific advantages in strobe mode, the EOS is high speed sync capable, up to 1 8,000th. Many strobes and speed lights aren't. The Rotolite EOS is also completely unique. It's the first electronically color temperature adjustable strobe in the market. Let's say you're in a situation where you're shooting a gorgeous sunset and you have a warm light falling onto your model, typically around tungsten, 3200 Kelvin. What a typical strobe would do is fire a bright white light, washing out all of that gorgeous warm sunlight. What I in fact want to do in that situation is to fire at tungsten, which I can do with this, so I'd set the light down to that setting and create a gorgeous balanced light on my subject, which also eliminates time for me in post-production. One of the fundamental advantages though, is that Rotolite EOS has absolutely no recycle time. If you were gonna shoot, for example, a wedding with a speed light, a typical speed light recycle time would be somewhere between three to five seconds. Recycle time simply means the time between a flash and when it charges up to be able to give you another burst of light. Let's say you're in a situation where you're shooting a bride and groom walking down the aisle, my speed light fires, it then takes five seconds for me to be able to take one more photograph. In those five seconds, the Rotolite EOS could have fired a hundred times. And what that means is that I never miss a shot or that perfect moment, which I can never get back. Finally, a typical strobe would last somewhere between 200 to 400 flashes at full power before the battery pack was exhausted. Modern cameras like the Sony A9 can shoot 20 frames per second. A speed light would last for somewhere between 70 to 200 shots before you'd have to change your battery. That means you're gonna to have to buy several batteries to cover an entire day's worth of shooting. Additional battery packs can be expensive and add weight when you're on a location shoot. With the Rotolite EOS, I could shoot 150,000 flashes of full power before my battery pack is exhausted. That simply means I need to spend less money on batteries, I have less weight to carry with me on shoot, and it's much, much more intuitive to work with. The other great advantage versus a traditional strobe is the form factor and the weight. The EOS weighs under three pounds, that's 1.4 kilograms. That's usually less than half the weight of a traditional monolight or strobe. It's circular, which creates a gorgeous catch light in my eye. It has integrated handles, so it's easy to carry. I could also one hand this with my camera if I don't have an assistant with me or a tripod. So all in all, the Rotolite EOS provides a huge amount of additional versatility compared to a traditional strobe. No recycle time, electronically adjustable color temperature, significantly improved battery life and form factor.